What's going on everyone? My name is Impulse and welcome back to Hermitcraft. Oh, no time lapse to start the episode today, but that is because we actually woke up to a few messages in Discord. One from Green letting me know that we are almost out of stock on the sea lanterns at the micro barge once again, impulse buys. So I got a bunch ready to go, restock that. And I also got a message from Tango saying that uh, it's my turn for the Christmas uh, advent calendar. So I guess there's a gift there waiting for me. And also, I just wanted to point this out. You may notice the lights are lighting up. I actually put in some time, finally, and got my sorting system working again. Made the updates needed for 116.4. Uh, and what is coming in right now? Oh, here we go. Some glass coming in. This is working once again, which means... Look around, look around. There's actually no junk sitting out for once. And I do I do have some other shulker boxes that do need to be put away, but we'll get to that. We'll get to that slowly but surely. Anyway, I'm gonna head over to the shopping district and uh, let's see how we're doing with the barge, the micro barge. I wanna see, have we made some diamonds? I still haven't worked out a deal with Grian to see what he wants as far as a cut of this whole business. Okay, all right, look at this. We got a couple diamond blocks out of the deal. All right, and uh, it's not as low as I thought. I thought it was completely out, but we got enough to restock the thing, and it looks like, yeah, a couple other things have been selling. Very nice. We are making lots of diamonds. I am going to, yeah, I'm going to put some aside just in case uh, Green wants a bit of this. I need to talk to him and see. Oh, and of course, somebody added an ender chest because it's kind of mandatory, I guess, in the shopping district that every shop has an ender chest. All right, that is looking much better. Everything is back to being fully stocked, and of course, that means I should probably check the other shops while I'm here, just to make sure. Of course, we got Lamps Plus, which, uh, as we know, we need to split our profits with B-dubs if we make any. And I guess I could put in a few extra beacons here, but looks like we are good to go, and a few end rods have sold as well. I wonder... Oh, okay, okay, B-dubs has been coming in here and collected the diamonds out of here at least, but uh, we need to add some more stock, of course, so awesome. All right, so that means I also need to check uh, the totem shop, or the m and Emporium, I should say, because emeralds and totems, uh, they, they have been probably my biggest selling item so far this season. Okay, I know it's been up and down with the totem sales, so I'm curious to see. All right, I think they're starting to catch on slowly but surely here, but I know the emeralds. These ones, I don't know why. I don't know who buys all the emeralds. Maybe somebody that's doing a lot of villager trading. <laughs> okay, yep. <laughs> Very nice. That is a lot. Oh my goodness, that is a lot of diamonds. We just got a few stacks. Holy cow. And of course, that means... I gotta restock this as well. Luckily for me, I have my raid farm, so emeralds are not a problem. I'm gonna have to go grab some though. I did not come prepared. All right, all these shops have been restocked. We are good to go. And before we leave the shopping district, I wanna go check things out because I actually opened up our mending machine, which was a brilliant title that uh, somebody in the comments came up with. Our mending machine, oh, and it's a Blackstone button now. That makes some people happy, I'm sure. <laughs> anyway, I opened up Impulse's mending machine free for all hermits and I filled it completely up. And it looks like, yeah, it looks like some people have been in here. In fact, let's see, do we need anything repaired? Not really, but let's go ahead and hit the button anyway. <laughs> Might as well. And I think, no, I didn't fix the problem. I thought I fixed the problem with the XP flying out here by putting that sign there, but that's all right. I wonder if some actually make it into the nether. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool to be walking to the nether and be like, what's that XP for? Anyway, so that's ready to go. And I don't mind using up some of that enchantment, bottles of enchantment, because I've actually got a pretty great setup now. I've got all the clerics now in place and went ahead and converted them to zombies and healed them back up. So you can see if we go all the way down to the bottom, we are now down to one emerald per bottle of enchanting, which means it is easy for us to get enchantments, bottles of enchanting pretty much for free. And I also have a farmer here because I realized we've got this big carrot farm right there. And if he's trading one carrot per emerald, we can turn those carrots into easy emeralds as well. Not that we really, really need them, but uh, yeah, I mean, I just figured like a no brainer because might as well. Might as well you put those carrots to good use. Anyway, I did stash a zombie over here somewhere. Let's see if he's down here. I think he's down in this hole. I went ahead and silenced him so I wouldn't have to listen to him. There he is. Hey, buddy. <laughs> we should name him. Hi. I'm keeping him around just in case we need to do any more villager conversion and uh, bring prices back down or anything like that. But we'll just keep him down in there, safekeeping. And I got a few extra villagers in here as well that are just hanging out in case... 
I don't know, in case I accidentally smack one of these guys too hard one day or something. Anyway, so we have a very easy way to get those bottles of enchanting, and this place is really coming along. We have arrived in the Christmas village area, and there it is. <laughs> this is amazing. This is so big. I've seen this in Tango's video, and seeing it in a video versus seeing it here in person, completely different. You really, you really don't understand the scale of this thing when watching it in a video but let's get oh my gosh let's just get under it look at how enormous this thing is oh it looks so good all right so tango said uh is this like a little thing to look at i think it is i think he left a little lookout spot to look down on this hmm i feel like a thumbnail was made right here from this very spot all right let's find number 13 there it is awesome i'm actually pretty excited that i'm number 13 because that's one of my favorite numbers anybody that was a uh nba basketball fan back in the day would have remembered that Steve Nash, one of my favorite basketball players ever, wore number 13. Anyway, <laughs> all right, that's enough sports ball talk. Let's see what we got for a gift in here. Okay, Impy, really? Tango, really? That's my gift? You're gonna call me Impy? Okay, all right, I'll let it, I'll let it go this time because you're giving me goodies, but um, yeah, not approving it. Not approving it. All right, let's see here. Do we have to break the side to see what's inside? No, we don't. Okay. Whoa. Yes. Okay. This is amazing. Are all three boxes of nether quartz perfect? Oh my goodness. I can. Maybe I can finish the back side of my base now. Because, you know, the whole party in the front business in the back or something anyway it's it's not done in the back and now we can finish it thank you so much tango i appreciate this this is oh my gosh he, he knew it he knew i mean look at my base he knew i was gonna need more quartz thank you so much oh my goodness now now i feel like i have to finish like we're not gonna finish today i got other things we're gonna do today but na maybe next episode i can actually finish my base how amazing is that we need to do something in return for tango because look at this he's been doing all this amazing stuff for the hermits and yeah, I feel like we should get him something. Anyway, we'll have to think about that. Let me know in the comments what you guys think we could do for Tango. Remember that whole turf war thing? You know, that thing that we were going to play mini games and the winner would be officially declared as the winner of this turf war and stuff would happen like bets were made and stuff. Yeah, that's happening. Finally. I know y'all been patient and uh, we got our games all built up. It looks like they're all ready to go, including Grian's. I don't know what this is called. <laughs> Let's see if there's a sign up here that says what this mini game is called. But basically, the gist of this mini game is we have to jump out of the plane, make it through some rings, and uh, I am actually signed up to play this one. I don't see, I don't see a name for it anywhere. But anyway, this is what we're gonna do now. Today we're gonna meet up because we are going head to head, mano e mano, with B double O, and we're gonna play this game. And hopefully we can score a point for the mycelium resistance if all goes well so oh i'm a bit nervous but let's go and get b dubs and green together and get this competition underway welcome contestants to green skydive i should have come up with a better name rings of death Ooh, is a more uh, suitable name yeah. oh no that's scary though <laughs> i like the sound of that yeah. i have been placing these rings all day and i hope this goes well because I, I i can't move them it's too late for that there's so many mm. of them how many so, reckon there is? A hundred. There must be a hundred. Oh my goodness. A hundred. Well, that's I'm gonna go be through all the of them. One hundred Hun rings of death. Hundred rings goal. of death. <laughs> yeah. So if you if I could draw your attention to this pillar here, this shows you the points. So you're both gonna be jumping out of the plane up there and trying to fly through as many hoops as possible, making your way down to the water below. And what you pass through dictates how many points you get. Mm -hmm. So red is five points, orange is two, and yellow, which is the biggest one, is one point. And it is a race. You are both jumping out the plane at the same time. The first one to get to the bottom gets 12 whole points, which is a lot. Ooh. It's a, it's a, it's a mm. big deal to get to the bottom first. Okay. But you must go through at least two hoops to qualify for that 12. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Can't go straight okay. through the water. No, does. no cheating, no exploiting. <laughs> so the I idea. <laughs> so if you float too slowly through them, you're not mm -hmm. going to get that 12 point bonus. But equally, if you go too fast, you're likely to hit the rings and die. And trust me, I'm a pretty good flyer. I've died many times. Oh man, those red ones are really tiny. They are really oh small. They are 1.5 blocks 
wide. <laughs> oh, you've oh. got to be perfect on those. But they are worth five points, so two of those and you probably uh, will get the win. Hmm, okay, are you ready true. to go? I'm thinking three rounds each at the same time, and the average score will be declared the winner of my minigame. Okay. I like that. Sounds yeah. good. Yeah. I'm going to give you guys a couple of practice runs because it's very unfair for you to just go into this blind. Okay. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Because okay. I'm super nervous. <laughs> yeah. All right. First challenge is to fly up to the, the plane and get inside. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> First time's a charm. Where did you guys go? I overshot it. Hey. I made oh, it. This, does, this doesn't bode well, does it? I'm going to come <laughs> in the other door. I'm <laughs> okay. Either door is hey, fine. Hey, hey, hey. We're Yay. not picking here. Good job. Got it. Nice. Right. Couple of shulker boxes here with elytra and rockets. If you want to put all of your stuff in here, mm. because it it goes kasplat and goes everywhere. <laughs> we don't, oh, okay. We don't want that mess. Okay. No. Can I hold this totem with me, though? Actually, for the practice runs, if you want, not a big deal. Oh, okay. For the real ones, no. Great. I'm ready. Yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> Got a few rockets to get back up. Yes. Yeah. All right. Hold on. Actually, I need I need myself a viewing platform or something because mm. I'm not going to be able to f see very well. It's true. Oh, I've got a flight plan, a flight path that I'm going to take. You I already figured it out. You're calculating. Yes, I am. Uh oh. Yeah, I Hey, hey, right don't. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's why I'm shifting. Okay, okay, okay. Green, tell us when. Hold on. I'm making okay. myself a viewing platform. Okay. This is going to be practice though, right? Yeah, this is this is just practice. Okay. All right. Are you guys oh, ready? Oh, jeez. My yeah. heart is pra in my throat. Practice round. Let's see if you both survive. On three, two, one, jump. <sighs> Here we go. Uh, no. Oh! The first <laughs> ring. What? Oh, he just made it. <laughs> what Woo! ring? And I made it. Oh, no. That was over very fast. <gasps> what did you do? Go straight to the bottom? I hit no, no. I hit he... five rings. I really green oh, is taught me. He's my fly teach. Gosh, I'm glad that was practice. It wasn't. It counts. It should count, right, Brian? <laughs> The no, first, that was just a practice. The first ring, I gotta find the elytra. It sat on the ring. Uh oh. I got you. I got your rockets. Okay, that's all I had on me was just a. Few, I don't know where the elytra went. F three B. I got it. I got it. I'll, I got it. Okay, thank you. Right, let's oh. go. Let's take this back up to the plane. Are you ready for the first go? I'm ready for another practice. practice round, actually. No, yeah, no, yeah, no. Okay. We're ready. I'm warm. <laughs> <laughs> I want to point out that the sides are symmetrical so that there's no easy path either side. They are identical. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. Oh, no, All this right. doesn't bode well for Hold me. Hold on, I gotta, eat, I gotta eat some food. Hold on. Just in case. Okay, I learned a good lesson. Don't go straight down. Oh, <laughs> okay. Came okay. in a little hot. <laughs> okay. So in that scenario, I think Impulse, you would have got one point because you died yeah. pretty, pretty quickly. And uh -huh. B-dubs would have got somewhere around 20 points. I oh think. my gosh. I think you could be safe to say 30. <laughs> All right. <sighs> test, 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 jump number two. And on three, two, one, jump. Okay. Woo! Okay. Okay. Oh! okay. <laughs> Now oh, you know how it feels. Now you know how it feels. Oh, oh elegant. Oh. Elegant. Yes! <laughs> Let's nice. count that one. I changed my mind. That one can count. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see an elytra down here. I wonder who this belongs to. Yeah, it belongs to me. Hey, I rub it in. <laughs> <laughs> All oh, right. No. If you bring that back up, we're going to do the real thing now. Okay. I've got the replay mod running. It's the only way I'm going to be able to count your guys' score. Okay. So this is the real deal. Okay. No more test runs. Oh gosh, I'm nervous. <laughs> How okay. does your your smile looks like a nervous smile, beat up? <laughs> it's a it's a fierce smile. Yeah, the one with the light up on the side. That's what I should have put in the skin. Okay. Oh man. Okay, and you're gonna go on. You're gonna go on my ju uh, on jump. Okay, so okay, three, okay. two, one, jump. Oh, there's a little Woo! pause there that you I'm... did. I didn't like the uh... pause action. Uh, um, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh, no, he's faster than me. Oh, uh, I, think, I think you beat me, but I did go I, through a couple rings. You did get a couple rings. I got a couple as well. I got three, I think. Oh no, then if you beat me down here, then you well, probably won that one. Yep. Oh no. 
<sighs> good run. Good run. Okay. You too. Right. I'm still Round warming up, though. Round two. Get yourself back at the top. Oh, I would like to yeah, propose, yeah. Game Master, I would like to propose a, an additional wager, if possible. Be between you and Impulse? Yep and Impulse. What? Okay. <laughs> Just after you Impulse. win round one? <laughs> Impulse and I are co-owners of uh, Lamps Plus uh -oh. in town there. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Winner gets all the profits for one month. Okay. Wow. One he said it. You month. heard it. Okay. Even though you got a lead on me round one, I got confidence <laughs> in myself. Yeah, it's safe. Okay, it can all go I, wrong. I haven't been giving you your half for a while anyway. <laughs> I think you guys have got a, a separate feud going on. Like, I'm just, I'm just here to spy dive. Okay, okay. okay all right, round two, everyone. Yep. Mm -hmm. Are we ready? Yep, I'm ready. We are going to launch in three, two, one, jump! Oh, man. Woo! Uh, 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 uh. didn't activate his elytra! He's no. just falling! Oh, and no, Impulse made it to the bottom he, Yes, he beat me down. Yes, you I, beat me down. I think I got a couple rings too. B-dubs didn't even fly, he just fell. <laughs> That's right! That was, uh, that was my fall technique. <laughs> falling with style. <laughs> yes. I did. Okay, it. it's gotta be pretty we're, we're close. This is, this is probably gonna make or break it. I think it's gonna come down to this. Woo! Last jump. Round three. Round three. Mm -hmm. We're going to launch in three, two, one. Jump! Uh, Woo! Oh no. Beat ups again! Oh no! Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. You just gotta make it to the bottom beat ups! Oh no! Oh, I didn't make it through that I... ring! Oh, I think I just lost all my profits to Lamps Plus. Oh man! I'm the Fly King! Oh man, I'm coming down there with no Elytra. I Green, and you're commentating. Oh. You're saying, oh. "Oh no, you're supposed to say you that should be unbiased." I think he was rooting for me. He sounds uh, like he was rooting. <laughs> I think Hep just got a win. That's not good. Oh, no. <laughs> thing. That's oh, that's true. There's a reason why he's rooting for me. <laughs> oh, <this laughs> yeah, that is true. Okay, don't have to be biased. I Where may have Elytra lost go? the elytra somewhere. I'll find it. I think we still we still better do the scores properly mm -hmm. yeah. just in case just in case and we'll take an average of the three although i have a feeling i know who won <laughs> so you're gonna have to give me give me 10 minutes i'm gonna tot up the scores and we'll meet back at the at the scoreboard oh come okay. on really oh jeez <laughs> really you prepared rub, that rub it in why don't you i'm leaving. i knew i was gonna win <laughs> Oh, <laughs> still sad walking. No. <laughs> no. Lot of boring math later. Pretty, you're wearing victory glasses. We already know who won because Impulse <sighs> failed the resistance quite I'm so sorry. I hit the second ring out of the plane. I stink at stuff. The final scores are in after re reviewing the replay mod. And you know what? Even if I'm a couple of points off, it was actually quite difficult to review. The winner is Hep. Hep have taken the first win <sighs> of the Turf War. I'm battle. sorry. I let us Those down. So smug. Look at his face. <laughs> to, to be fair, though, in watching the replay, we did notice you barely got through that second hoop on the last run before you hit the bottom. Barely. Oh, the rules. I you, played the system. <laughs> you were this close to being disqualified, uh, mister. This close. And I... And I won by that much. You won by that much. <laughs> well, All right, GG. Well done. Well done. GG. If you come over to my extremely extravagant winner loser scoreboard over here, I'll let Ooh. you do the honors, B Dubs. You can put a put a lever on the back side of that and uh, on the hep side. There you go. Go on. Light okay. one up. Here we go. Three, two, one, bang. You missed it. <laughs> you missed oh, the okay. whole you know, you know, number. It's right here. <laughs> If you want me, okay, 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 okay. I think this is a Yay! little archaic. <laughs> this might be a little archaic green. We might want to spruce this up with some redstone. Yeah, I mean, I had like two seconds to put this together. I think it's a, I, it's good enough. Yeah. All right. Yeah. First point officially goes to Hep. We've got catching up to do. I still have faith in us. I've been looking at the other games, looking at who signed up for them. I still feel pretty good, even with my loss today, that my ceiling resistance is going to take this one home. 
I hope so. There's only nine mini games that I put ten there, but there is only nine mini games. So, Whew. look how smug he is. <laughs> <laughs> Those glasses, I can't even look Those at glasses. him. It's like he knew he was gonna win. <sighs> oh, we're gonna win the whole thing. You keep dreaming, keep dreaming, buddy. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, looks like Hep has now won a second game, and I think Cub and XB competed against each other in False's grass jump game right there. And it looks like Cub won. Uh oh. <laughs> Two to nothing so far, Hep. I'm hoping for a comeback for sure. We can't let B dubs be right. We can't let Hep run away with the win here. But very soon, I think, let's see, who is it going to be? Doc and Etho versus Scar and B dubs will compete in my Wackistan game. Hopefully, we can get a victory there. We will see. But wow, wow, that is that is definitely scary. I don't like don't like being down to nothing. Oh my goodness, not good for us. And I gotta say, it's a good thing that I restocked Lamps Plus and took the profit out when I did, because it looks like now for the rest of the month, or at least the next 30 days, profits are gonna all be going to B dubs because of the wager that we lost. That is not good at all. Oh, this has been one of those kind of weird episodes for me where a lot of the work that I put in was kind of off camera, doing the grinding, converting villagers and getting the prices down for the XP, making sure the mending machine got stocked up and all that. And also the time I put into getting the sorting system working again. I mean, the real thing there was I was running out of shulker boxes and I actually considered going to the end and getting more that way. And I realized, you know what, if we just put away all of our junk that we have stored we're gonna be able to get all these shulker boxes back and that's when i decided you know what it's probably time to just go ahead and make the modifications to the storage system so that things can get sorting and if you see the lights go all the way to the end there it's a bit of a problem it means I don't have a filter for torches and apparently all these items as well. So that means I need to basically figure out where they would go. Like I know a loom would probably go in here. This is kind of like our, I don't know, random workbenchy type stuff. And so if we look and we see that that's like the second slot over and I have to kind of uh, get in here this way and every once in a while I've seen a mob in here. So we must have a dark spot somewhere and we come in here and we basically put that in there. So now next time a loom comes through the system, now it should go through the storage but uh yeah a lot of a lot of effort went into using target blocks basically they updated the way redstone worked in 116 so uh that's what kind of broke the system so we got a good fix from casildas from mizuma games in fact i'll put a link in the description for anybody that might have this sorting system and have been looking for the fix for that it's on his channel and it was uh it was it was a little bit of work, but it was worth doing because now we have this working again. But anyway, that's going to do it for me today, guys. I'm looking forward to doing some more mini games. Uh, hopefully next episode. I think we got a lot on the docket still, so we're going to get a big mini game episode potentially and find out once and for all who's going to win this turf war. I really hope it's my ceiling resistance. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do that before you go. And with that said, I'll see you again next time. Have a good one, everyone. Before we roll the outro, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to Spree Plays, Waiting for a Mate, Bad Burrito 316, and Bioduck for their amazing support over on Patreon. If you guys are interested in seeing what kind of rewards are listed on Patreon for you to enjoy, head on over to patreon.com slash impulsesv. I'll put a link in the description for you as well. But Spree Plays, Waiting for a Mate, Bad Burrito 316, and Bioduck, thank you so much for your amazing generosity. Really do appreciate that.